Hello! On today's video, we've got. A glossy box unboxing! Woo! I think it was a year ago when I um, stopped my subscription. But I saw like a preview of the things you were getting in a September's box. And it was the brush thing um, and that really nice um, Figs and Rouge serum. And I thought, oh, like I've been looking for like a brush um, to fit into me skincare routine. And I saw that and I thought, oh. So I decided to just order the one box. Um, and I got this box with a cord for £10. So you can't be robbed for that, can you? Mm? Glossy box! <laughs> Feels so weird opening a glossy box up. So we have the glossy box book which I'll keep to refer to. Ooh, and it's full, full of products. So I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm reading and see what I'm getting. The idea is it's called a pure, relax pure relaxation box, which really like excites me. First thing out of the box, is this what I really really wanted? What is that? Stuck on it. Oh, I got something extra look. So it's this and it's the spa um cleanse and brush. Double headed mind. May I add double headed? So I'm gonna take that out of the packet. I've been wanting one of these for ages. Oh, that's lovely and soft. Oh, that's soft as well. You use these by getting the brush wet first, don't you? Because then that makes it like even even softer to use. But can you see it's got like a textured surface there. And this side's really, really soft as well, actually. It's like a silicone side. I think that's your massager side on this side. And that's your cleansing side on this side. See a better look. Well, there you can see that really really well now obviously a full size product and um, you can use it alone or with cleanser i'd use it with cleanser because i have a few cleansers to use up it also gently massages to give you that post facial feeling at home and it's got a price tag of 16 pound 49 so we're winning already aren't we and that's just the first product this saber med antibacterial cleansing foam so it is for acne prone skin, but I've read reviews on it and it's supposed to be really good for rockier and stuff like that, which I have a bit of rockier, which is those little red veins on your cheeks and like the red, red, red cheeks. So I'm going to give this a try for my skin, even though I've got really sensitive skin. Um, and if I'm also going to let my daughter use it because she has spots. So this is going to help um, clean up her spots. So you get a nice big tube there, look. A nice big tube. You've got like a, a pump action on the top. I'm gonna squeeze a tiny bit out. Oh, there you go, look. Nice and foamy. I don't think it smells of anything, but I haven't really got a really good sense of smell, so I could be wrong. But it feels gentle. It doesn't smell of anything like too harsh. So I've never ever tried a Seabet Med product before. You can use this every morning, every night. So we've got like this to use with this. And this is the Figs and Rouge. £42 to buy. It's a really, really good make. You know, it was worth getting the box for £10 for that. Because I mean, why wouldn't you? A, a Clarity Serum. A lightweight and micro refining serum so you put a few drops on your hand and then you rub it into your face with your fingers and it gently exfoliates and unclogs pores ensuring, ensuring that your complexion is clear and free from breakouts and blackheads like I don't get spots but I do get little whiteheads sometimes I cannot wait to try this lovely colour 
it's a beautiful um, mint green colour. Isn't that lovely? Lovely gold writing. Clarity Serum. I'm going to have a try of a little tiny bit. So it comes in a dropper. That's funny because the liquor inside is like a, a pearlized mint green colour. I didn't expect that. So I'm going to plop a little bit on my hand. And I'm going to rub that in. Yeah, feels like a serum. I think I can feel a tiny little bit of exfoliation there. That feels really, really nice. I don't know whether I can just not smell anything, but that doesn't sound like a smell to me, but I don't know whether I can just smell nothing because my nose just never seems to smell anything. My nose is always blocked. What with this, this serum, because I've run out of serums, and then like I've got my scrub and I've got my brush, can you believe it? Can you believe that? It cost £42. Like, I would never go out and purposely buy um, a beauty product for £42. That just isn't something I would do. So this is a Vita Mask Pearl Sheet Mask, and it's a brightener mask. And the packaging of that looks really, really pretty. Obviously, it's a pearl clam. Um, it's a Korean face mask, sheet mask with extracts of pearl to brighten your skin and I'm really excited to try that. I love trying um, new face masks. The whole worth of this box is supposed to be over £75. I'm winning, winning, aren't I? Shields against redness and brightens lacklustre skin. So I can't wait to use that. I haven't got that many um, face masks in at the, at the minute, to be honest. It's the MCO Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint. Quick drying and a natural flush of colour for the face or the lips. Can you see that? And I'm going to open that up. I'm not sure about putting this onto my cheeks because I have rosy cheeks anyway. I always have like rosy cheeks anyway, so I don't want to look like a clown. Um, and it is called Flamingo Pink. Flamingo pink. Oh, that looks like that looks bright. That looks like a pimp. You know them paints, acrylic paint. It looks like that. It's just like bursting out. As soon as I've took that seal off, look at that. I haven't even squeezed it, and it's just like bursting out. It looks like a tube of paint. So I'm gonna put that on there. That is so pigmented. Look at that. That is so pigmented. It feels moisturiser, mind, on my hand. There. I've took my lipstick off and I've put the lip gloss on. And as you can see, you have to be careful with it because it's really slippy. It easily slips outside the lines of your lips and that. Um, but it feels really nice. It doesn't feel dry or anything like that. It feels nice and moisturising on your lips. But it is, there is a lot of colour there. So I definitely wouldn't use that on my cheeks. I definitely look like a clown. I'm going to rip the box because I can't get it open. Aha! Aha, that's what it is. It's perfume. So you've got three. The middle one is a zest. The third one is floral. And the first one is gourmand. So... I'm going to try the garment first. So they come in tiny little um, bottles like this. I'll try this one first. Uh, I'm awful for smelling. I quite like that one. That one is black currant absolute and mandarin oil. Smells nice, you can smell the black currant. So the next one is zest. Put that on this one. Oh yeah, you can smell that one. That smells really zesty. I can smell oranges in that one, I think. Bergamot oil and grapefruit. I thought I thought I could smell something like that. A floral one. Now I should like this because I love I love floral fragrances um, 
I'm not sure about that one. I normally love floral. It's getting better. I th I'd say I like the other two better actually than that one. That's your three fragrances. I think that's a really good idea to have like fragrances in um, a box. Lindor chocolate bar. I mean, a nice, I think that's just a free little treat. So I like Lindor. Lindor milk chocolate. That's everything that we got in this month's box. So that's it. So what did you think of um what did you think of this September's box?